So this frog is called a harlequin toad. It's actually not a frog, it's a toad. It's the family Buffonidae, the real true toads. And it's called harlequin because they are so colorful that they are called harlequin. It's a whole genus called Atelopus. Atelopus. And the species here in Costa Rica is Atelopus varius. There is four species of Atelopus in Costa Rica. Only one is surviving right now. And from uh, 166 localities that we had already known, uh, now they are only surviving seven. So this means that something happened very, very catastrophic uh, with this species, and not only this species, but many other species. But this is one of the most sensitive species uh, of toads or frogs that uh, had declined during the time. So in the late 90s, uh, some herpetologists from around the world, they met in Canterbury, I think, in a, in a World uh, Herpetology Congress, and they started to figure out what happened, because uh, from people from Australia, from South America, from Africa, from Europe, they said, hey, uh, maybe a few years ago, it was so common to find uh, frogs everywhere, and now I don't see any. And some of these people started to monitor their their own populations of uh, harlequin toads especially but also happened with other with uh, glass frogs with rain frogs with tree frogs with many other and uh, what happened here in costa rica is that suddenly in the late uh, 86 to 89 uh, many harlequin toads disappeared and actually in monteverde uh, one very well-known place in, in costa rica uh, a few herpetologists were working with the arlequin toads and they said hey this is very strange the arlequin toads and the famous golden toad they were living exactly in the same spot very close and they were monitoring that and they just realized that they were missing and nobody know why it's like wh what happened here we don't know so this uh, news started to spread around the world and many herpetologists during the 90s and 2000s started to monitor species looking for disappearing or thought to be disappeared species and when i moved from spain to venezuela in 1995 started to look for atelopus in venezuela in the andes of venezuela they were gone nobody knew nothing about in like 10 years and wow so we started a monitoring program, looking for it in many places, no luck at all, until in 2004, uh, some guy called me, hey, I have, we made a poster, we made a poster with, with some fans from the Cleveland Zoo, we made some a beautiful poster and we, we, we gave to everybody this beautiful poster with the frogs and explaining all the problematic, and some guy called me, hey, uh, we have a, a hurricane toe here, what? So I went immediately and indeed it was a harlequin toad, the last of his kind. And this was at Telopus mucovagiensis in the Andes of Venezuela in 2004. So after that I started to look for the species, no more luck. Then Venezuela started to be a problem, a political problem, economical problem. So I moved to Costa Rica in 2010 and here I started to look for Atelopus varius. When I arrived, I knew only about one surviving population, and th th that was all. And started to look around, and I found one. I found another population, and I said, wow, that's really, really so neat. So I started to look for funds to, 
to, to monitor this population. After that, I found another one and another one. So now uh, there are seven populations known to be surviving of 166 in total known in Costa Rica. So it's nothing. It's really, really nothing. But still, just a few, um, just a few herpetologists working about that, uh, looking for new populations and uh, trying to to count, no? to, to, to make a census and to know uh, what's going on with this species.